Love Frequencies, the unconventional path to romance formal, short, hilarious comedy skit scene, a small town park, where a group of amateur ham radio enthusiasts gather for their monthly gathering. Among them is the main character, Bill, an introverted and slightly nerdy man in his late 30s. The park is filled with quirky characters ranging from tech enthusiasts to eccentric hobbyists. Bill, adjusting his ham radio equipment all right, folks, let's see what we can pick up today. A crackling noise fills the air as the ham radio connects with another station. Suddenly, the sound of a woman's voice comes through the speakers. Woman's voice, hello, can anyone hear me? I'm lost in a parallel universe, help. Bill, excitedly oh wow, a distress signal from another universe? This is my chance to be a hero? Bill quickly starts communicating with the woman, whose name is Sally. As they continue to converse, Sally reveals that she is stuck in a universe where women are only attracted to men who have hem radio skills. Bill, amused wait, so you're saying that in your universe, hem radio is the key to getting girls? Sally, absolutely. It's the ultimate sign of intelligence and charm here. Bill hangs up the radio, lost in thought. He devises a plan to use his newfound information to his advantage. Scene, a local bar, where Bill is talking to his friends, Karen and Steve. Karen, so, Bill, how's the hem radio hobby going? Bill, oh, you won't believe what happened? I found a parallel universe where hem radio skills make you irresistible to women? Steve, laughs come. On, Bill. You're pulling our legs, right? Bill, no, seriously? It's true? I'm going to test it out in our world and see if it works? Bill recruits Karen and Steve to assist him in his experiment, and they create a fake hem radio station to attract women. Scene, a speed dating event, where the trio sets up their hem radio rig with multiple female participants. Bill, overexcited all right. Karen, pretend to be the woman answering my call. Karen, skeptical I hope this works, Bill. This could either be hilarious or a total disaster. A speed dating participant, Sarah, approaches the table where Bill and Karen are sitting. Sarah, hi, I'm Sarah. Who am I speaking to through the radio? Bill, speaking through the hem radio hey, Sarah, it's Bill. I'm an expert in all things hem radio. Sarah, impressed hem radio? That's so interesting, tell me more. Bill, caught off guard by Sarah's enthusiasm, nervously tries to keep up the act. Bill, uh, yes, well, you see, hem radio operators have a unique skill, and it's something most women find irresistible. Awkwardly, Bill tries to impress Sarah with nonsensical hem radio jargon, causing Karen and Steve to burst into laughter behind the scenes. A series of unexpected situations unfold as more women become interested in Bill's hem radio skills. Each interaction becomes more comical, with Bill struggling to keep up his charade. Scene, a month later, at the park where the hem radio enthusiasts gather again. Bill, looking dejected guys, it's not working out as I thought. Women seemed interested, but I couldn't keep up, with the hem radio terminology. Karen, laughing Bill, we knew this was all just a silly experiment. You shouldn't change who you are to attract someone. Steve, absolutely. There's no substitute for being genuine and authentic. Suddenly, Sally's voice comes through the radio again. Sally, Bill, it's me. I managed to escape from the parallel universe. I'm back in the real world. Bill, Sally, that's fantastic news. As Sally joins the group, the friends share a laugh, realizing that true connections are not simply based on hobbies or skills. Scene, epilogue Bill, Karen, Steve, and Sally are sitting in the park, chatting and having a great time. Bill, so, Sally, any new parallel universes to explore? Sally, grinning not at the moment, Bill. But hey, we'll always have our ham. Radio memories. The group laughs together, cherishing the unique bonds they have formed.